Hi guys, it's Nathan here from Barbecue and Smokers, or Bovie Barbecues. Today we're going to be cooking up some pork belly burnt ends. The technique will be cutting them up into inch squares, rubbing them down with the rubs that you like. I like a little bit of sweetness with this. Smoking them for about two and a half hours, taking them out, putting them into a tray, covering them with butter, honey and brown sugar, covering it right up, putting it back in there for about an hour and a half. After the hour and a half, and they're on the point where they're really squishy and wanting to fall apart, I'll take them out, glaze them up individually, put them back in there for five to 10 minutes for the actual sauce to set. So I've cut the pork belly up into strips. Now I need to dice them up into squares. It doesn't matter if there's bits hanging off them because this is just for at home, just for us to eat. It's not any form of competition. So I want the squares to roughly be an inch by an inch, 25 mil by 25 mil, a little bit bigger, doesn't really matter. I'm doing two different rubs today. I'm going to use the Killer Hogs barbecue rub, and I'm also going to put the honey bacon rub over the top of it. Doesn't need any oil, doesn't need anything, it's going to stick to it anyway. Being pork will be nice and sticky, we've all found on it. So. I want to get the coating on all sides of this pork and we get good colouring everywhere. I'm not pre-preparing this the night before, literally doing it right now, it's going straight in that egg. I have got the egg already preset, so it's already fired up. The temperature that I'm running at is about 275, it's a little bit under that, a little bit over that, doesn't really matter. So I'm going to put them in there, I'm going to take them out of the pan, just put them on the rack, that way it gets an even smoke all the way around. A little bit, open up. The egg is set up for indirect smoking today, so I've got just a pizza pan in the bottom of it, the rack, and I've got the meat now on the top of the rack. I'll let that smoke for approximately two and a half hours, depending on the colouring and how much it dries out, which is determined by the actual piece of pork itself and also the thicknesses that you cut it. All right, time to take them off. A right. little bit. Open up. We've got some good colouring on them, they've dried out a little bit, so now we've got to try and make them nice and juicy again. So first thing, first thing is, a bit of butter. I think I've always said everything tastes better with butter. Brown sugar. A little sweeten everything up, our sugar will caramelise up, give you a good coating and some secret weapon, honey. This will sweeten it all up. And we need to cover it up. This will create a bit of a steaming technique. The fats in the Bacon itself will melt down. Back in she goes. Same temperature, 275, should be a good hour. We're after a squish test, so once they get nice and squished, time to get them out. Using the kind of sweet again, it seems to be the go-to when I'm after something nice and sweet. Glaze them over and put them back on the grill just to caramelize that sauce up just that little bit.
So we want a pretty good coat. Now they go back on the grill, just to caramelise up that sauce. So you're only talking about five minutes. Close back down. Still running at 275. Okay, it's been five minutes since I put them back in there to caramelise up, so time to get them out. Once again, a little burp. Looking nice and golden, nice and sticky. Ooh, we lost that one. Let them cool down because they're mega hot. Let's give it another two to three minutes and then once the sugar sort of settle down in temperature, I will be consuming. Here's a victim for you. Perfect. How are you, Not too bad, mate. Just in time, huh? Yeah, perfect timing for you, mate. Very nice. Very nice. Acceptable. Mm-hmm. Mm. You busy? Eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 